What's going on everyone? My name is Chris Dudo and I'm the Goalie Gear Snob and today I'm going to talk to you guys about a brand new glove and blocker set by one of the top North American made companies. Let's talk about the Brian's Eclipse glove and blocker. Let's check it out. I'm just way too excited and I already had to put them on my hands to show you guys what these bad boys look like. So I have the Eclipse blocker here and the Eclipse glove here. And I'm gonna talk about some of the cool features about this glove set and how it's different than the Iconic set, how it's different than the Optic 3. So let's get into it and I'm gonna start with the blocker first. So here we have the Eclipse blocker. Um, I'm very thankful to Brad Johnson over at Brian's for sending me this Eclipse glove and blocker set, which is different than that iconic set right there. But looking at the blocker first, um, it has some very normal Brian's callouts and hits that you would expect. Uh, you're going to see they're kind of bubbled 3D logos here. They have a gray air mesh behind it that kind of wraps around the entire logo and sticks out right there. You're going to see the Eclipse branding right here on the inside of the blocker and you're going to see a different a little bit of a different blocker shape than what brian's has put out before so i'm just going to get right into what my thoughts and feelings were on using this blocker so this blocker to me it feels a little bit more uh kind of like if you were to mix like a true or a lefay built blocker with like a bauer supreme it kind of mixes and feels like that and plays a lot like that it's very well balanced it sits very well on the hand. Um, I really like the finger protection and everything overall on this blocker. Uh, uh, I don't know if I liked it more than the Iconic, but I definitely did like it. Um, and the thing I noticed about this blocker in particular is that it starts to thin out towards the nose. So you can see the blocker board shape, how it starts to thin out, but it's not as thin. That thinness doesn't start from the back of the fingers like a lot of other blockers do. It actually starts right on the nose. So it actually gives you a little bit of a thicker Kind of feeling here not nearly as thick as like a bauer uh, a two-piece blocker or the 1x blocker but it definitely kind of sits off the hand a little bit more uh this sidewall is also like insanely stiff like i don't know if i've ever seen a blocker board have this stiff of a sidewall and i think it's due to this lacing construction with how the lace actually attaches to the back of the board not like up on the inside edge so you actually are getting some more board that sits behind the sidewall right here, if that makes sense. So it sits really comfortable on the hand. Really like how this performs. Um, in terms of the graphic, this will be the stock graphic that you're going to see. Uh, you're gonna see these two stripes right here, one that kind of wraps on the uh, inside of the sidewall right here, and a few different color zones as well. Um, overall, not a huge fan of this logo placement right here. I wish it was more uh, down on the inside, but when you compare it to the glove, you're going to see how that's very similar. But just it feels a little bit odd to me kind of floating up here. Uh, but I really like how this performs. So with the performance on the ice, um, I have very, very, very sweaty hands. And I've noticed my hands get nice and sweaty here. Uh, but the palm actually continues to grip more throughout use. As were the other blockers, I sweat through. The palm gets nasty, gets gross. Uh, but I really like how this extra sure grip layer here uh, really helps grip. Uh, I'm definitely a big fan of that. Um, the one negative I would have is how high uh, the edge of the Nash kind of comes up on the back of the hand. So I'll try to show it here, but you can see where my wrist ends. I wish that this stopped right here as this uh, kind of material as I sweat kind of grips. Um, and it feels like uh, my chest protector, my wristbands kind of get stuck on it a little bit. So overall, not a huge fan of that, but the actual palm itself as I was sweating was working out really well. Uh, looking at the back of the adjustments here, so it is a Velcro closure that comes around. I did notice that the hard Velcro is kind of getting stuck under the air mesh a little bit. So there's something I want to call out. I was getting a tiny little bit of wear right here. And then of course you're getting the uh, adjustable strapping system here 
So on the stock blockers, you're gonna get the A top, which is slightly different from the BOA you're gonna have here. So the difference being is that BOA, you pull up and it completely loosens the tension entirely. You have to press it back down and ratchet it close to your preference. On the A top, that is gonna be stock on the Brian stuff, it just turns both ways to loosen and tighten. So you do not pull it up. So do not start pulling up on the A top version of this buckle right here. Just the BOA you have to pop up. A top, it stays down and you can spin it both ways to loosen it. So just wanna call that out. But I like the adjustment right here. It was really good for me to be able to open this up, tighten it up if I need to, pop it back open, move it around a little bit. Um, I can understand the A top, how you just spin it you know, both ways and it's comfortable uh, and it can adjust well, but I really like this adjustment here. Uh, I do wish that I could have removed this flap right here. I would think that um, this is enough for me, uh, uh, enough protection on the inside of the wrist. I wish it was a little bit shorter. Um, I didn't necessarily find this was getting in the way. Um, I just was always feeling it on my arm. So maybe that is getting in the way, but I wasn't a huge fan of this flap right here. Um, but overall, still got a good reach, good movement, good feel on the blocker. Rebounds were popping off exactly how, it ex uh, how I would expect it. Uh, Brian's blockers sound different than other blockers on the market, just due to the different core and materials that they use. So it does sound a little bit different, but I was a huge fan of how this blocker performed on the ice. So now I want to talk about some final thoughts on the blocker as I have some cute clips spliced in here of me making a few saves. So I was able to use this blocker in a few Dallas Stars practices, uh, a few game day skates, a few optional skates, and even a few skills practices. And man, I was really liking how this was feeling and how it was performing. I was getting great grip on the stick. It was working extremely well. I was able to present and articulate and move the blocker as I needed. And even though I was sweating a whole buckets, buckets of sweat just pouring out down my arms into my hands, that's a me thing, but I was feeling that this palm was starting to grip more. It wasn't getting as slimy and as gross. And I really like the stock size of this blocker. Um, I don't think I would need to go down to an intermediate, which is pretty cool that this fits pretty snug here, but I'm really happy with how this was performing. So the video that you're kind of seeing spliced around right now, sadly, it's not of the Dallas Stars practice as I cannot film there, but trust me, the sound of the shots coming off the blocker were awesome. But now that we've talked about the blocker, I want to talk about the glove. So let's check it out. Brian's Eclipse glove. I am very, very, very happy that this glove now exists. And the reason why I'm so happy for it is because it has a very familiar break that I really like using that a lot of companies are starting to make their own version of. So this is Brian's version of a 90 degree closure glove. And I'm just going to show it real quick and then we're going to talk about it. I'm a huge fan of this glove. I absolutely love how this glove was performing on the ice. Um, usually I can tell how well something is uh, working for me based off of where the puck marks are. And I was catching a lot of pucks up here in the netting on this side of the thumb right here. Uh, a few down low that when I was trying to seal the body were kind of, you know, clipping down here. But for the main part, I was getting a lot of pucks up top. And I absolutely was loving how this was performing. I'm a huge fan of that 90 degree style closure. And I'm not going to sit here and say that, yes, this is like a true, this is like a Bauer. I'm not reviewing their gear. I'm reviewing Brian's gear. And this is their version of a 90 degree style glove, which I honestly think I might prefer than the existing 90 degree gloves out on the market. Like I, I absolutely love this thing. The reason why I like it so much is because as I close it, the thumb doesn't dip and roll back much like some of the other ones do. So as I'm going to close this glove here, the thumb stays put. I'm getting that old school kind of finger overlap uh, that I've liked in those 90 degree style gloves. Dare I say like an old Reebok 
Premiere 2, like that's the feel I'm getting here before the new, you know, CCM cuffs and everything that were coming out. Like I'm, I'm really liking this. Um, it closes extremely well, has a really super short cuff, a lot of uh, uh, like hand, you know, past the cuff. Um, and then I really like how big the pocket is. Um, I'm a huge fan of single T gloves. Uh, I think that it looks incredible. And this single T here, with this kind of modified looking anchor tee, which when I close it from the back, you can see that the closure kind of makes this tee offset a little bit. Um, but not only is it offset on this side of the brake, it's actually like the brake would be here and then the tee is about half of an inch over. So I really do like that. This glove has just made me really fall in love with this 90 degree style brake all over again. I was catching a lot of pucks up by my ears. I was able to start to rotate down low. Wasn't getting the perfect seal against the body, like a lot of pucks were hitting there, but I was really liking how this was performing on the ice. But I'm gonna pull this glove off and we're gonna take a look at the strapping here now. So showing the backhand of the glove here, it's a Velcro closure and then kind of a dual Velcro on both sides right here. So I'm gonna undo the outside and we're gonna take a look here at the inside of the glove. So we're gonna get two BOA dials, which on the stock, complete stock version, you're gonna get the A-top ones, which again, you do not pull up, you just twist in both directions to tighten or loosen. Um, but I was able to get a really comfortable feeling off of this with the Brian's hex material. I mean, this glove was super comfortable. Other thing I wanted to call out as well, and a little bit tougher to see all the way in here, but this internal hand strap, this second one right here, it's actually off of like elastic. So it actually moves well with the hand, which I think is a, a great design. And then getting to the internals, you're gonna have one giant strap across the fingers right here in white. Something I did just wanna call out and thanks to Brad for helping me walk through this. Um, I was heavily feeling this um, kind of like reducer where the, the strap passes through on my pinky. Um, so I just had to loosen up this strap a little bit to get it feeling a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, I was kind of getting it, digging in there. But just to close this glove up, just kind of close the back hand here, pull this back over top, and I am very happy with the performance of this. Super short cuff on the back, which is very tall, which is really cool, so you can really articulate the hand out. Uh, unlike the blocker that I was using, I kind of always felt that that flap was there on the wrist. This felt very open to me, so I can get the full range of motion that I needed with the chest protector. And the protection was there. Again, use this with the Dallas Stars. Um, some other high level skates and took a lot of shots to it and never really got stung here. I was very happy with this overall padding. I'm very happy with this overall glove. Um, I really do like the graphic. Uh, I like just how simple it is with the two stripes right here. You have another little hit for a stripe that you could customize right here for these two zones. Um, but I really like how this came out. Again, not a huge fan of the logo placement. I kind of felt that it's floating in the graphic. But when you compare it to the blocker, you can see where it makes sense on that internal zone. Um, I just like it a little bit more on the glove. Again, this is North American built by Brian's. Um, it's made in Kingsville, Ontario. Great set of people over there that put a real, put a lot of thought into this version of a 90 degree style glove. I think this came out really well. But now that I've talked about the glove and blocker and some on ice thoughts, I want to talk a little bit more about the Eclipse line, talk a little bit more about Brad over at Brian's as well. So the Eclipse glove and blocker does not exist inside of another product line for Brian's. It's its own version. To my knowledge at the recording of this video, there will not be leg pads to go with it. It is just a glove and blocker set. So with that being said, it does have its own version of the graphic. Um, and then from my understanding, you can also custom order it with a graphic to match. So say if you want a full, you know, custom set, you want iconic pads, you want optic three blocker, and then you want the Eclipse glove, you could have Brian's put all those matching graphics on there for you. You just have to order through your retailer. Some may or may not have an upcharge for that. But generally the graphic swaps are pretty easy to do and your retailer can explain that process to you. However, 
I really like this Eclipse glove and blocker. Uh, I really find that it is a unique offering from Brian's that will kind of help, I don't want to say fill the gap, but really try to help goalies that are coming from other brands find something that they're similar with. Again, this blocker, it's not the lightest one. It's not the most beveled one. You're going to get more of that in the optic and the gen or excuse me, I'm going to have to get used to not saying genetic anymore, but with the optic and the iconic. However, uh, I really found that even though it's not the, the lightest, it provides that similar feel that I'm used to after having some CCM Reebok true blockers over the last you know dozen years. It's a very familiar feeling and I really like how that came out. Especially with a glove, being that 90 degree glove user, I really like having that glove that'll kind of help catch up in this area here. I'm not the tallest goalie in the world, so I really need a glove that can kind of help get above my shoulders a little bit, which is why I prefer that 90 degree break. And I think Brian's version of it, like they absolutely knocked it out of the park. I'm super happy with that. So if you were a goalie that has always been shopping and really liked a slightly beefier blocker, you like that 90 degree style glove, the Eclipse is the glove and blocker for you. Made in North America, built in North America, designed in North America. They have a lot of custom options they can do, like I was just talking about the graphic swaps that you can do to try, excuse me, that you can do to try to match some of your other uh, Brian's products as well. Or even if you want to do your own extreme custom graphics, they've done that as well. Hey, Colin Delia has had it on his glove and blocker this entire season. But it's something cool that Brian's can do to try to offer that custom level to make all of their pieces match. And I think it's really awesome that they have an extra glove and blocker set that can try to help fill the gap if you don't like the iconic glove and blocker or if you don't like the Optic 3 glove and blocker. So now I'm going to talk a little bit more about Brad over at Brian's and, get, and give him a thank you as well. Brad Johnson is the pro rep with Brian's right now. He represents a lot of other brands as well, and he's heavily involved in the USA Hockey goalie side of things here. Um, but I just want to give you a huge shout out to him for getting me this iconic glove and blocker with the hidden pads down there and this Eclipse glove and blocker set. I'm super happy with everything I've received so far, and I can't thank him enough for getting this out to me and letting me use it. Just also wanted to make a small note here that I did take this set with me one time to be the emergency backup with the Dallas Stars. I felt that comfortable with it in the morning skate that I wanted to take it with me later that night. So for me, just to take something after using it two or three times right up to the highest level of hockey where I didn't have to play, but I could have if called upon, I really like this set and I thought it was, it was a great set that made me feel really comfortable. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Brad and also share that little bit of knowledge as well. But I just want to thank you guys for watching along right now. Check the links down below. I have about all the other cool affiliates and the other products that I've been reviewing. And also I've listed some of the specs down below. My name is Chris Dudo, and I'm the Goalie Gear Snob, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And also rang that cute little Liberty Bell for some notifications about what I upload to my channel. Please check me out on some of my other social outlets are going to be linked down below.